LEDs, the unsung hero of our electronic devices. They'll tell us when something's on, off, working or plotting world domination. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good glow, but when that midnight snack run turns into a scene straight out of Terminator 2, where your charging cable's LED does its best nuclear flash impression, leaving you clinging to the fridge like Sarah Connor to a chain link fence, things have gone too far. Today we're dimming down those over-enthusiastic LEDs, so you can enjoy your tech without feeling like you're in a blockbuster thriller. Here we have an HDMI bi-directional switch. One side can be linked to your monitor while the other lets you plug in a couple of devices. Maybe to computers or your favorite gaming consoles. Alternatively, you could use a single computer and alternate between a TV and a monitor. It's more versatile than you'd think and they aren't that expensive. The only problem are the LEDs as they are quite bright and draw a little too much attention, as you can see in the dark. I use another one which I've altered a bit with some duct tape like this. It helps a lot, but it just doesn't look great. Even with the duct tape it just looks too bright. As these HDMI splitters are easy to take apart, we're going to try and hack the LEDs and make them a bit easier on the eyes. Here's the plan. We're gonna stick a resistor on the positive side of the LED, that's the anode side. We're just going to replace a small part of the LED's leg with the resistor. Now, if you were super technical, you'd use a multimeter to find out the exact resistor you need. But hey, if you're feeling a bit wild, you can go the caveman route. Just try a bunch of resistors and see which one gets the brightness you want. Want to learn the nerdy way to do it? Let me know and I'll drop a whole video on that. But for now, I've already gone the caveman route, found our resistor and we're good to go. So um, let's just screw this one apart and see what's inside. So as you can see, it doesn't have that much. The LEDs are just attached to the power of the HDMI, so that's why they aren't so bright. So, also, uh, this is a great uh, example of how they um, paint this. So they, they put a ma little magnet here and just paint everything. They tie a, a rope to it, so it just hangs and they can just paint. So to, to solder, I just bought this uh, PCB fixture. These are magnets and this is just a metal plate. And you can um, well, put this on there in place or like the, this, I guess. And you can um, desolder it without getting too close to your desk or anything else. So we're gonna try this one out as well. Or I need a resistor 1K, no not 1K, 50K, to dim the light a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the resistor on the plus side. And the only thing I could find was these, this um, 47, yeah, this should be 47K resistor. So we'll just place it like this on the plus side, it's this side. I'm gonna place it like this. And I'll just be soldering the need some tin in my soldering. For fuck's sake. Okay, it's the most shittiest soldering job I ever did, but looks like it worked. So now we just cut the sides so they won't be touching. And now we can cut in the the leg so the leg of the, the LED. Like that. And now we have one a resistor and one without. So let's see if this works. A really big lead. Soft lead. So that works. And of course we can do this on both sides. But I want to do a little bit of a different thing on that side. What we're going to do is, um, it would be fun if you could choose your own intensity in light. So we're going to put a potentiometer there. So you can set your own kind of light. And then we're going to pick this um, 1K one. So it needs to be like this, and I only need two of these legs. So we're gonna bend one. We don't need it. Gonna put it right there. Solder it again. And this is the worst idea you can you could have, but this project wasn't really a uh, serious one to begin with. So we'll just snip the leg, else it wouldn't work. Like that. So it wouldn't fit in the like this so we need to maybe drill a hole here or something like that well if we really really want to have it like this let's see if it works so i can i can turn it off all the way but it still works i guess this is the lowest it can get So now you can fix all your stuff, all your stupid LEDs that are too bright. So I added the potentiometer as a little fun experiment, but let's swap it out for the same resistor we used on the other side. Thank you. 
and now you have this which is which is a lot less bright and there you have it now you know how to tame those bright leds ensuring they serve their purpose without blinding you in the process remember a little bit of tweaking goes a long way